Fantastic, baby. Happy Friday, Friday Prior, Prior Lake Lakers. Lakers. Welcome to one of the most okay episodes of Lakers shenanigans. If you don't know me, I'm everyone's favorite freshman, your co-host, Brennan DeFrost the 15th. That's right, Freshie, and I'm your other co-host, Avery Reynolds. So, Brennan, I heard you got quite the monstrosity to start us off on this wonderful Friday. That's right, Aves. At our very own Prior Lake High School was the Mangent. Let's go check out how the Mangent went. This past weekend on Friday the 20th, we interviewed the contestants for the Prior Lake Mangent. What makes me better than my competition is the fact that I'm basically perfect in every way. Well, really there is no competition. You see, I am the best there is. I think that I'm better than my competition because I am more attractive than all of them. I'm funnier than all of them. Uh, and also my talent is much better than all of theirs. Um, I think I'm better than the competition because I have a really outgoing personality and I'm not going to hold anything back, so they better be out. Watch out. Just all of me. Everything about me makes me better than everyone else, ever. So, any competition. I'm better, I'm better than everyone in the world. I'm most excited for the talent category because I'm pretty talented. Uh, I am most excited for the talent category because I will be performing a song that I wrote myself uh, saying why I should win the mansion. Um, I believe I'm most excited for the interview portion because I'm very good with answering questions on the spot. Uh, I'm excited for the swimsuit portion, obviously. Congratulations, Ryan Glazer, for winning the Friday Night Mansion. Well, that was definitely exciting. I would say that again. Us Minnesotans spend a lot of time at the theater, don't you know? Now, let's see what movies will be on the big screen this year. Fifty <laughs> Shades of Grey. Up and coming movies have been the hot topic on Twitter. Let's take a look at what the students think. I'm really looking forward to uh, Pitch Perfect 2 and The Avengers. Jurassic World. And, um, Pitch Perfect 2. Um, Fast and Furious 7. Movie genres that interest me are probably comedy and action. Oh, I love romantic comedies. That's my, that's my stuff. Mostly action movies. I think Pitch Perfect 2 is going to be a good movie because everybody really liked the first one and people wouldn't stop talking about it for, like, Five months. So I say Jurassic World and Pitch Perfect 2 sparked my interest because when I was little, uh, Jurassic Park was like the big show or whatever, and so I, I want to watch Jurassic World. It's like the sequel. It's like the big thing. And Pitch Perfect 2, I didn't even see Pitch Perfect 1, so I don't know. I might have to, might have to go see Pitch Perfect and then go see Pitch Perfect 2. I'd probably go with my friends to the movies on like a Saturday night, just chill. Usually my cousin that I usually go with them. Anyone that likes to see movies and wants to have a little fun with old Zack. Lots of suspense is good in a movie and I really like when I'm like sitting at the edge of my chair really interested and in, into the movie. Something that's funny but also exciting at the same time. It's something that has like a good story, it's not just like a movie put together that doesn't make sense. Thank you, everybody, for contributing your opinions. I'm personally really excited for the Star Wars movie. I just hope Disney doesn't mess up my favorite movie series. Well, Prior Lake, let's get our engines revved. I hope you got that pun right away, because this show is, gonna, is the real deal. While well, I promise oil stop these puns, even Cara Zeus would be proud of me right now. Speaking of engines, let's go check out the small gas engines. Let's check out what these students are learning down in the small engines department. I learned like the baseline of how a motor works. 
in that in small gas engines. How to take apart an engine and put it back together the right way. Uh, patience when working with engines. I also asked them how they plan on using this in their future. I plan on using it to um, work. I plan on using it by rebuilding other engines for projects I may be doing in the future. They also faced a few difficulties. Uh, the hardest part of the class was getting the parts we needed for the engine because it was old. The hardest part of the class was um, remembering how the things went back together when after, after we had to take them all apart and we had to wait a couple months. We were also interested in what they were working on. We were working on a uh, 350 Honda. I had a 3.5 horsepower lawnmower motor. If you're interested in motors at all, you might want to check out small gas engines next quarter. I wish I were in that class. It looks like a real gas. No, Brennan, don't tell the puns. All right, I'm sorry. Before we leave for, this, for the week, just wanted to say have fun at the snowball dance tonight. Remember, Prior Lake, to stay out of trouble this weekend. We hope you can keep watching Lake of Shenanigans for more crazy things happening in and around the school. Toodles! Toodles.